Let's look at this problem. Um, we have two objects. A is moving along a straight line. This is its path. And object B is moving along a curve with a radius of 25 meter. And uh, the velocities of these two objects are known at this point, and their tangential acceleration, the increase of their speeds, are also given. And we need to determine the relative velocity and relative acceleration of A with respect to B. And because B is moving along a curved path, we're going to use um, the relative motion analysis with um, rotating coordinate system, rotating axes. So because B is the one moving along the circular path, we put our coordinate system here, small x, small y. These two are the um, rotating coordinate system with the origin fixed at, point, uh, at object B. Therefore, the coordinate system moves with B. At this point, it enters, it is coincident with the capital X, capital Y coordinate system, which is the fixed coordinate system. So we're going to write the equation directly, and then we're, ev we're going to evaluate the terms one by one. So the relative velocity of, uh, how do we determine the relative velocity of A with respect to B? Well, we write the equation that the absolute velocity of A in the fixed coordinate system equals to the absolute velocity of B plus omega cross R a with respect to B. So this is the angular velocity of the rotating axis coordinate system. RAB is the relative uh, position of A with respect to B. So this would be, this would be the um, velocity of A, how to determine the velocity of A if point A is also belongs to the coordinate system. However, that's not the case. Object A does not belong to this coordinate system. It has the relative velocity, V relative to A, uh, a VA relative to B, evaluated in the coordinate system, the rotating coordinate system. So what do we know? We know VA. So I'm going to write it here, the things that we know. VA as a vector equals to the magnitude of a 4 meter per second and the component along the x direction is cosine 30 degree i. Along the y component, direction is sine 30 degree j. So that's VA. VB is also known. It only has a negative 3i component along the x direction to the left. Omega equals to VB over R, K. As you can tell, the movement is clockwise. Therefore, we manually add a negative sign to this. So negative VB is 3 over 25. That's 0 0.12 K. Omega dot, not yet. I'm going to do that later. R, A over B. R, A over B is the relative position of A with respect to B. And that vector is from B to A. It's this vector right here. And uh, as you can see, it has the magnitude of 2 times the component is negative cosine 30 degree I and then negative sine 30 degree J vertical down. So that's all we need for this part, so VA, 4 cosine 30 degree I plus another 4 sine 30 degree J equals to, on the right-hand side, negative 3I. And then um, plus negative 0.12K cross negative 2 times cosine 30 degree I minus two times sine 30 degree j plus VAB xy. So this is our unknown. We need to solve for it. So we do the evaluation. Therefore, VAB 
xy can be solved to be 6.58i plus 1.79j in a unit of meter per second. And that is the first part of the solution to this problem, that is the relative velocity of point A with respect to point B, which does not equal to the relative velocity of B with respect to A. Moving on to the second half, AA is determined by this equation, AB plus omega dot cross R AB minus omega square R A B plus two times omega cross V A B X Y, which is this thing that we just solved for, plus A A B X Y. And this is what we need to find out. So we know uh, RAB, we know omega, we know VAB, we need to find AA and AB and omega dot. So AA is also along this direction because the speed of object A is increasing at one meter per second. So this is AA, which equals to one times its uh, component, one times cosine 30 degree, that gives its direction. That's AA. For object B, its speed is decreasing at 0 0.5 meter per second squared, meaning that ATB is 0 0.5 in this direction along the x direction. ATB is 0 0.5i. But at the same time, we have the A and B, the normal acceleration. Normal acceleration equals to V squared over R and along the positive J direction. So that equals to um, 9 over 25 because V equals to 3 J. Therefore, AB together equals to 0 0.5 I plus 9 over 25 J. And lastly, omega dot, omega dot as a vector equals to a t b over r k. So a t b is 0 0.5 from earlier, r is 25 k. So because acceleration is um, counterclockwise, omega dot is going to be positive. So now we're ready to fill in this equation, all the terms. So we will have on the left hand side, cosine 30 degree i plus sine 30 degree j. On the right hand side, we have 0 0.5 i plus 9 over 25j plus 0 0.5 over 25 and um, that equals to 0 0.02. Okay, that's the angular acceleration of the rotating coordinate system. Cross the position vector Ra with respect to B. Again, negative 2 cosine 30 degree i minus 2 sine 30 degree j. Okay, moving on to this right here, minus omega is 0 0.12, that's this magnitude squared, times, again, r a b, negative 2 cosine 30 degree i, minus 2 sine 30 degree j, plus 2 times omega, that is, negative 0 0.12k cross VABXY, that's the thing we just solved for, 6.58i plus 1.79j. Lastly, what we need to find for this step, acceleration ABXY. So we evaluate everything 
and we can solve for AAB XY to be 0 0.891 I plus 1.74 J in the unit of meter per second squared. So that's the relative velocity acceleration of object A with respect to object B. So again, that's going to be different from the relative acceleration of object B with respect to object A.